Aberdeen, often referred to as the Flower of Scotland due to its many lovely parks and gardens, lies in a picturesque spot on the North Sea between the rivers Dee and Don. The capital of the Grampian region, Aberdeen is Scotland's biggest fishing port, an important centre for offshore oil, and the ferry terminus for the Orkney and Shetland Islands. Number 1 Stay Machar's Cathedral The Cathedral Church of Stay Machar, usually referred to simply as Stay. Machar's Cathedral is believed to occupy the site of a small Celtic chapel erected by a Stay. Machar in AD 581. The succeeding cathedral was founded in 1136, although the earliest work in the present building dates from the 14th century and was completed in 1552. Number 2 University and King's College of Aberdeen Founded in 1494 in what's known as Old Aberdeen, the University and King's College of Aberdeen received its charter from King James IV. One of the college's identifying features is its huge tower, 1633, and an elegant stone dome, the only remaining structure of its kind in Scotland and notable for the stone replica of the imperial crown of Charlemagne that sits atop it. Number 3 Brig O'Balgony Aberdeen is also home to one of Scotland's most romantic settings, the Brig O'Balgony. Also known as the Bridge of Dawn, you can access this attractive stone structure via a short walk through Seton Park. Number 4 Tolbooth Museum Evidence of Aberdeen's old medieval town can still be seen around Castlegate, which centuries later is still very much the focal point of the city. While there's no longer a castle here, the tower of the 17th century Tolbooth, formerly the town hall and prison, is Aberdeen's oldest building and home to a museum with fascinating displays on the development of crime and punishment. Number 5 Mercat Cross Also in Castlegate, diagonally opposite the Tolbooth Museum and adorned with a white unicorn, stands the Mercat Cross. This elaborate and highly decorated medieval symbol of Aberdeen's right to hold a market was built in 1686 by the city's Guild of Merchants. Number 6 Duthie Park and David Welch Winter Gardens A beautiful year-round floral experience, the David Welch Winter Gardens at Duthie Park is one of the world's top indoor gardens, filled with rare and exotic plants from all over the world. It's a large attraction, the largest indoor gardens in Scotland and one of the largest in the UK, and features an impressive collection of cactus and other succulent plants. Number 7 Scottish Artists at Aberdeen Art Gallery Built in 1884, the Aberdeen Art Gallery houses a comprehensive collection of 17th to 20th century paintings. Scottish artists with work displayed here include Charles Rennie Mackintosh, William Dice, Thomas Fade, John Philip, and other representatives of the Glasgow School. Number 8 Aberdeen's oldest home, Provost Skeen's House. Sir George Skeen of Rubislaw, provost from 1676 to 1685, was a prosperous merchant whose wealth came from trade with Gdansk in Poland. His former home, built in 1545 and the oldest standing residence in Aberdeen, now houses an excellent museum with displays of locally excavated artifacts, religious paintings, and period costumes. Number 9 Crafts Castle Run by the National Trust for Scotland, Crath's Castle is a classic example of a Scottish baronial-style castle. The tower house, with its small oriel windows and corner towers, was begun in 1553. Its upper stories are worth a tour, if only for a glimpse of the beautifully painted wooden ceilings dating from 1600. Number 10 Aberdeen Maritime Museum Located in the Harborside Shiprow district in an interesting old 16th-century Provost Ross's house, the Aberdeen Maritime Museum is one of the most popular places to visit in the city. Highlights include excellent collections of models, photos, and paintings documenting the development of the Dee Estuaries port, as well as the arduous life of the whale hunters, herring fishermen, and North Sea traders. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.